Hi, I'm Christina, and I got accepted for the Disney College program for the spring 2015 semester as a quick service food and beverage cast member. I just sort of wanted to start vlogging my experience as it's happening. I'm not there yet, but I recently got accepted about two weeks ago, and I sort of wanted to do these kinds of videos as a way like to look back at how I am now. I'm so excited right now, so if it ever gets hard while I'm over there or anything like that, I feel like these would really kind of benefit me. And if they can benefit really anybody else, that would make me so happy. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about my application process and my acceptance. And yeah, so basically I applied on September 19, 2014, which was around maybe halfway more towards the beginning of the recruiting season because it lasted from late August to late October actually so I was around right in the middle and I sort of applied just kind of like for the hell of it it was my second time applying the first time I didn't even make it so I was just like why not because the spring term would have actually been the most perfect time for me to do it since I would be transitioning from community college to university so I wouldn't really be like it would just just be kind of a middle thing anyways, if that makes any sense. But, I so I applied, and a few hours later, I got an email to do a web-based interview, which got me really excited because I didn't even get that email before. So I got really excited about that, and I was like, okay, this is starting to seem maybe a little bit more like a possibility for me. So, the next day I did the web-based interview, and I was pretty terrified for that one because those questions, they're multiple choice. It's like a an assessment about yourself, basically. And they tell you automatically at the end of the test whether or not you make it further in the interviewing process. So basically, it's like you kind of have to get the answers right, or at least a certain way, to make it further. So I was very nervous about that, but fortunately I passed. And then they sent me an email to schedule a phone interview. And the only time they had available for me to schedule was for the next day. So I was like, okay. So I saw a bunch of videos. I really like studied hard for that interview, like harder than I would for a midterm or anything that I've ever studied for in my life. It was crazy. And I went on to do the phone interview the next day at around 1.30 p.m. That's what I had my, my interview scheduled for. But I know that they could call to 15 minutes before or 15 minutes after. I think they called me maybe like at 1.27 or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. But the interviewer was very friendly and very animated. And she could tell that people that are interviewing are pretty nervous. And she, she's very understanding about that. I'm sure they all are. And they're great. Um... They basically went over a lot of questions asking me about my job experience and why I wanted to do this program. Um, and I had indicated on the my application that I knew Spanish, so she asked me more about that, and I, I felt like that looked pretty good. So if you know another language, definitely good to make note of that. Um, she asked me a bunch of scenario questions, my top three roles, which for me were... Um, attraction, merchandise, and quick service food and beverage. So I did end up getting one of my top roles, which was great. And my interview was about 25 minutes, more or less. I know that some people have them shorter and some people have them longer. I've heard maybe that the longer ones tend to mean that it went better, but really I don't think that matters because mine was just sort of in the middle. The interviewer had indicated to me that this recruiting season was going to be a little different than previous ones because previous ones you would normally hear your results as to whether you got in or not within two to three weeks, but this time they were just going to give a majority of their acceptances mid to late October. So I basically had to wait. And then a few days after the interview, I got an email saying that I was pended. And I found out due to the Facebook groups with um, the other hopefuls and people that were applying and trying to get in, a bunch of other people got pended the same day that I did. So we all made like a 
a little group amongst ourselves, and we were just talking about it and seeing, like, what does this mean? Nobody really knew what it meant, if it was a good thing or a bad thing. Like, there were a few people that were very positive on the page talking about, like, oh, no, you're pretended because Disney's trying to look for a good place to put you. And, yeah, of course, I thought of that as just wishful thinking because... There, I saw other people on the page, on the other pages getting accepted, and it was a little disheartening, but I still tried to keep hope. I was constantly praying, and I just really, really wanted this to be in the works for me. So, this, I was in the pending group a good month, and then around October 23rd, there started being acceptance waves to the penders, and I kept checking my email, checking my email, my dashboard, still nothing. Then the next day, more people were getting accepted. For me, still nothing. There were still a few people like me that were also getting very scared and nervous. And it just, I don't know, I was already thinking like, man, I don't know what to do. I hadn't started applying for the university because I was so hopeful of getting in, which I don't recommend that, by the way. Like, So I didn't even really feel like I had like a solid backup plan yet. I just wanted this to happen so badly. Then Saturday, October 25th, I I get up. I see people getting accepted, still nothing. I go to take a shower. I come back to my room. I check my email, and I see the email from Walt Disney World telling me I got accepted. I'm telling you, I almost ran out of the room, like in my still in my towel, like running around the house and just like screaming. It was oh my god. It was crazy. I, I, I can't even explain, honestly. Like, I'm speechless even just thinking about it. So, immediately I accepted my role. I went, I paid my fees. I picked my dates. And it's all finally going to happen. And I, again, I was very blessed. I feel like I did get one of my top roles. Even though I feel like people are kind of apprehensive about quick service food and beverage. I'm trying to look at it from a more positive outlook, you know, like I hear that over there, you know, you become very close with your coworkers, and I would love a relationship like that with, you know, to really get to know people. I've never been in a work experience kind of like that. So I'm really excited for this new experience. I mean, obviously I'm very nervous too, but really more excited than anything. And I feel super blessed that I got accepted into the program. I know to this day, People are still waiting to find out as to whether or not they've been accepted. And all I can say to people like that is don't lose faith. I know it gets really, really hard. Like, there would be days where I was just, like, watching it happen for everybody else, and I'd get very emotional. Of course, I was very happy for them, but, like, it's very hard to watch. And I even it hurts me a little when I see even somebody become an LIC, which moves no longer in consideration. It does make me very sad. And, you know, I was NLIC'd the last recruiting season as well. And, you know, honestly, it really all worked out for the better that I didn't get accepted last time and I got accepted now. Like, really everything happens for a reason and you have to remember that always. So, yeah, um, I'll probably make more videos as the process continues to unravel. This is still kind of the beginning. I'll probably do like a bucket list or something and maybe like what I'm going to be packing and yeah, that's about it. So I hope I get, to, I can't wait to get to know you guys that have been accepted and hoping for the best for everybody else.